This is a marine steam engine that I built probably a year ago now. In fact, there's a date on there, 2018. So that's six years ago. It isn't a model, it's a full size engine. This would push a boat along sort of 20 foot length, no problem at all. I had it at the steam rally last weekend and I had it running off my friend's Roby steam roller boiler. The trouble with running these engines on live steam, apart from the oil everywhere, is that the water condenses inside the cylinder and inside the valve chest when you're finished using it, which means you've got to run it on air to flush all the water out. I don't want it corroding inside. The lubrication system is total loss. You see, that's where it, it all ends up dripping into after it's been run. It ran for two days. The oil doesn't do any damage. It just colours the brass sometimes and it doesn't look very nice, so I'm going to clean a lot of that off. I've got one or two modifications to do to it. That's one of the viewers sent us in to lubricate us. That's a nice solid brass one. That's a cheap imported brass plated, tin plated, not very nice one. That's a real one. Look at the proportions, that's like in proportion, that's not. So I'm going to change that out. There's also an elbow on the steam pipe. I found a nice bronze elbow. I'm going to change it for that. But the first thing I want to do is put some compressed air into it and run it and try and get some of the water out of the cylinder. Then put some oil in and run it again to get it nicely oiled inside. I may take the cylinder cover off and have a look inside and also the valve chest. I haven't had a look in there for ages and this has done quite a lot of running. This is not ideal but I'll get as well. I need to be. That's a parallel thread. It should be a taper thread in there but I'm sure it'll be alright for what I need to do to it or with it. These are the pipes that drain water from the sun now when it's cooled I'll open them we should get some water coming out of there once it runs we'll put it in there so there is water coming out and there's water coming out the exhaust as well the engine runs really nice on progress there but it runs better again on steam This little valve on top of here simply allows you to get some oil directly into the cylinder. This is just 1040 car engine oil just to stop it from corroding inside. Oh, see, <laughs> engines are messy bastard things. Oh, maybe it's the messy bastard thing. Right. Well, I do you want to run it and you want to see the oil coming out of the exhaust. That's the, the way it needs to be. I'll shut that valve off. Still getting moist out of the exhaust. This thing here is a, is a, is a lubricator, what they call a displacement lubricator. It's filled with oil and hot steam comes in, condenses, lifts the oil up and the oil goes into the engine. Quite simple how it works, but it is really effective. If we open that, see the water, that's water coming out of there. And then that's the oil. It certainly, it certainly works a little bit messy, but they certainly do the job. The engine is reversible. 
you know, to notch it up to save steam. That's got earlier, just instant reverse after the with the steam engine. I'm going to change this lubricator as well, I know I like it. See, I've got a nice original solid brass one. I'm hoping it's the same thread as this. This lubricates a crosshead, which in turn lubricates the big end bearing. Just a drip, a drip feeder. Of course that's eighth and that's quarter BSP so I'll have to change that one, make something up to adapt that into there. Not quite sure how we'll do it, but we'll do something, make a little adapter for that. You know clever how they work. You fill it with oil, there's a little port there, you put oil in. And the way it is there, the valves close, there's a little spring with a needle valve, that's close, so when you do that with it, it lifts the valve up and the oil drips and you can see it dripping through that glass there and depending on how high you have that screw rope depends how much or how little oil drips through really simple but effective have a little look inside the valve chest see I've not been in here for a long time there'll be water in here so there's actually water leaking out past those nuts as I loosen them off Bastard. There's always one in there. Right, so that's a, a slide valve in there. That's a valve there, which moves up and down and then covers the steam ports. Quite clever the way it works. You saw the water that's collected in the bottom. Most of this is bronze, but I'd push all this silver steel in it wood. Corrua dot. What I have got is a piece of perspex that I made ages ago to show how the, the valve works. I can put steam on it or air on it and show it to see how the valve works. I clamp that on and we'll put some nuts on to hold it in place and you'll be able to see the valve moving up and down as the engine actually runs and you'll get some idea of how it works right so there you can see the valve working and covering the port, the top one's the top side of the cylinder the bottom one's the bottom side of the cylinder and the exhaust is in the middle really clever the way it works Seals on the port case by the, the pressure of the steam in this case the comp at the end side of this. See how slow it runs. This valve link in here is called Stevenson Link. Used on a lot of steam engine applications like this. There's books and books written on valve gear and valve timing on steam engines. Oil coming out the exhaust now, which is what we want. The engine's now full of oil.
These are the oil ads for the main bearings. Oil boxes. Little oil ads there on your Celtics, they're what we up with valves. That's about it. We get a little bit more. But basically, that's running on next to no oil pressure at all. Or rather, steam pressure. Now, it's just a case of a little bit. Brake cleaner, wipe the thickest of the oil off, and re oil this. Then it's ready to be used again, which I think will be in three weeks' time. It's just a light street steam rally. I'll get some film of it. Running on steam there. I'm going to turn into those columns. I actually tapered. It's the first time I had a good tape. I turned in between centres. Worked out quite nicely. Give it a bit of polish up, a bit clean up, and make it presentable again. They are, like I say, total loss duplication. But it's nice clean oil. There's no bearing material or brass in there. That oil could be really strained and put back in, I suppose. But even I'm not that tight. Once again, just time to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I want to leave you with uh, one or two things to think about. Um, sadly, today, a friend of mine uh, lost his father. And straight away, as soon as he told us, I started to think about my dad. Uh, he was very close with his dad. Probably best of friends, the same I was with mine. And all I'd like to say is, if your parents are still alive, make sure you go and see them. Uh, not in a month's time. Try and go now or tomorrow. It is important because one of these days you just won't be able to go and see them. Anyway, thanks for watching.